Um, so I know I haven't made it. I didn't stay up on my videos, but we moved, we had Christmas, we bought a house, like all this stuff happened. So now I have more space to work on Etsy, which is nice. So I'll definitely be way more consistent with these. Um, so I have another haul video of stuff I've gotten in the last like three weeks or so, just here and there. And then I was also gonna do an update on the coffee cups in the, in the video about how to get started and um, just starting with something easy like coffee cups. All the ones that I showed you guys earlier have sold since then. So I was gonna share with you how much they sold for. So the first one was the Naked Girl mug with the titties and she sold for $40 and I bought her for, I think I bought her for 50 cents. I don't ever pay more than a dollar generally for a coffee cup. Um, so that was really cool. And the customer sent me like an update picture. I guess her mom growing up always had a plant planted in that coffee cup, like on their counter in their kitchen. And over Christmas, okay, be careful. Um, over Christmas, I guess she like knocked it over and she broke it. And it was like, just one of those things that's like been in your house forever and you felt, you know, you feel really bad. So she bought the one that I had up for sale for $40 plus shipping. And then when it got there, she sent me a picture of the broken one that they still kept, but it was broken and then the new one next to it. And she was like, my mom was so happy. And it was really cute. Um, and then I sold the Yale mug for $49, which was great. That one, I think I spent a dollar on. And then I sold those white dance mugs with the blue rim. There were two of those and I sold both of those for the, for the set. I think I sold them for 42. Um, and then the last one, which is the coolest, was the white glass mug that said bitch, bitch, bitch in black lettering on both sides. And I sold it like for like $24, like nothing crazy. Um, but then when I go to ship it, I'm writing down the address and it says Etsy. And I'm like, what? Like this has to be a mistake. Like this doesn't make any sense. But then it said Brooklyn. And I was like, oh, like Etsy headquarters are in Brooklyn. So I messaged, well, actually that's not true. Before I messaged the buyer, I actually just Googled her. And um, she was a senior editor at Etsy, which was so cool. So I messaged her and I didn't want to act like I Googled her because that's like a little weird. So I was like, oh, do you work there? Like I saw that I'm shipping it to Etsy. And she was like, yeah, I'm a senior editor. And I was like, oh my gosh, could you please, when you get it, send me a picture of it on your desk? Like, how cool is that? So I paid 25 cents for that mug. I sold it for $24 to a senior editor. And now it's sitting on somebody's desk in Etsy headquarters in Brooklyn. Like, how cool is that? <laughs> so she did send me, a, send me a picture and she wrote me a really nice review and it was really cute. Um, so, but isn't that pretty good? I, the lowest price one was $24 and the highest one was 49 and that's all not with shipping included. So that's not too bad. Okay. Now I'm going to show you stuff that I've, um, purchased that I haven't listed yet, but, um, I'm going to get to listing it this week. So, oh, I'll start with these really cute little glasses. I have four of them. I'll show you one up close so you can see the little, um, starburst like it's like engraved on there in the glass it's real or etched maybe is the word um but isn't that such a cute little silhouette adorable and there's four of them and they're just so freaking cute so i'll probably put the setup of four up for maybe 50. they're really cute so those are adorable then i got these nice green glass candlestick holders. They're not marked at all, but generally this color, I don't see new things being made in this color in glass, like in general, I don't know. Um, but they're, they're pretty and they're good for Christmas, you know, they're a good color. So I thought I'd put the pair up for maybe, I don't know, 32 or something like that. I paid $3 for these. Then I have this, oh, this Fiesta Wear. It's a retired pattern. No, it's a retired color, but I think they call it a retired pattern anyway. How cute is this butter dish? So it's Fiesta Wear. There's this adorable little place for you to pick it up. It's in perfect condition. It's like zero chips or anything. Super cute. Um, 
One of them that I found on eBay was listed for, I think like 75 with shipping included. So I put this one up already and I put it up for, I believe 68, which is kind of pricey, but you can't, they don't make this color anymore and it's pink. And I just feel like somebody who collects that stuff will pay up for it. So, and it's just in perfect condition. It's so cute. I love it. I almost kept it, but it's a little girly for my husband. Um, oh, and then I have this cute, I love animal things. I have this cute little puppy planter. Look how cute he is. With little polka dots. Actually, my husband picked this one out in a thrift store and he was $5. And he was made in Japan. Isn't he adorable? So I'll probably put him up for like 18. Not a crazy sale, but I love stuff that just makes my shop look cute. Um, and he's cute. All right, he, oh, here's a coffee cup. This one isn't like, you know, it's nothing crazy. It says, well, well, it's backwards for you guys. It says grandmother and there's like some leaves and it looks like, oh yeah, little flowers there. The handle is a nice shape. And there's the maker's mark. It says, oh, it was made in Bavaria, West Germany. Oh, it's Goebel. I forgot it was Goebel. That's why I bought it. Um, yeah, so I'll probably put that up for 25 bucks, 26 bucks, something like that. And I paid a dollar for this. Um, let's see what else. Oh, this thing is cool. This is a Fenton green glass like candy dish or something like that. It's just so pretty and unique. Here, I'll get out of the way so you can see it. Isn't that really cool with the wing spread and the tail is there? And then there's the beak and the eye. It's really cute and it has two birds and they're kind of making, you know, the whole rest of the bowl goes around. It has a nice waved um, shape to it. I don't know if this is uranium glass. I wonder if it is because, you know, it's hard to tell with the, like the light green colored glass, sometimes it's uranium glass, which makes it more valuable. I'm pretty sure it is, but I don't have a black light yet. So I haven't been able to test it. I think I found it online somewhere if I'm remembering correctly and someone had a picture where it was glowing. So, but that would be really cool. I love uranium glass as dangerous as it was and horrible as it was to make, but it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, so there's that. I'll probably put this up for 50, 55, something like that. And I paid, I paid six bucks for it though. So that's pretty. And then, oh, I, oh, this is interesting. This is, my dad got me this, so I don't know what he paid for it, but I paid nothing for it. Um, it's this cute little, I don't know how to show you this. You can kind of see, I don't want to tilt it because all this stuff will fall. It's this cute little like table set where there's a napkin holder, little salt and pepper shakers. Um, this is for toothpicks. So that's how I'm, no, that's how I know that it's, that it's definitely vintage because we don't really use toothpicks that often. Um, and then I think a little sugar caddy maybe. Um, I don't know a maker's mark. Oh, but I'll show you. So like every little piece comes off. And then this is the base of it. So it has like these little indents where everything sits. So cute. It just says made in Philippine, in the Philippines. And I wonder like this color and the fact that it's white here and just like the curves and the kind of general shape of things makes me think that it maybe could be Fiesta Ware. Cause like Fiesta Ware doesn't always have a, a maker's mark on it, but you know when you see it that it's Fiesta Ware. But I don't know if they made anything like this. And honestly, I don't even know what this thing is called. Like the best, the closest I could come up with is table caddy. Um, but I honestly couldn't find anything that's similar online. It's just really cute though. I love it. Um, so I'll probably put this up for maybe 42. It'd be really cute in the center of somebody's table. And it's a really nice color. I just don't know who made it. <laughs> I wish I did. Um, all right. Oh, here's something interesting that people are like, only you would buy this. It's so freaking weird. It is a very <laughs> dramatic something. I don't even know what the hell it is. Um, but it has these chandelier crystals and you can see the 
shape of it. Isn't that pretty though? Like I know it's ridiculous looking, but it's kind of, it's really pretty. And this is all, I mean, it's, this is pressed glass, so that's not anything too crazy, but just the overall, you know, it's interesting. Who has stuff like that in their house? And then it has this nice base that's really pretty with these like claw feet type situations. And the crystals are hanging off of leaves. It's really cool. I brought it home and my son was using it to store his Nerf bullets in it, which was kind of funny. I thought, oh, okay, I wouldn't have chose that, but whatever. Um, but I think I will sell it because it's very top heavy and we have four cats and I just don't see it going well. Um, but I'll probably put that in the shop for, well, it was listed in the thrift store for like $45. And sometimes they're right about that stuff and sometimes they're just like way off. So you, sometimes you're like, oh, yeah, second guessing yourself, like, is this really worth something? And I did find some online for like several hundred, hundreds of dollars, but I just don't think the components are like that expensive. Like it's pressed glass, I don't know. But it is really cool. The center is a, can you see that flower in the middle? It's just cool. Um, I pay, it was on sale because the thrift store, everything was on sale like 80% one day or something crazy. So I think I paid 10 bucks for it, which I don't usually pay that much for anything. But I did because it was so cool. So I don't know. I wonder if I put it up for, sorry, like I said, we have four cats. Um, I wonder if I put it up for like 100 bucks or 200 bucks. I don't know if that's crazy, but I'm just going to try it and see what happens because you never know. All right, Biscotti, get out of here. You're not needed right now. Um, and then I got these really cute little Pomeranian plates. My sister has a Pomeranian, so I like picking up Pomeranian things. Biscotti, get off the table. You're so annoying. Oh, sorry. My cat weighs like 35 pounds and he stresses me out. Um, <laughs> it's so cute, isn't it? Oh my God. This dog is living the freaking life. It has a lacy pillow and there's roses and it's on a pink tufted chair and it just looks like it's having a blast. Um, and it has these, this whole thing. They're like collectible plates that people hang on their wall. They're kind of like weird, but I think people that love Pomeranians will buy this. I actually already sent one to my sister. Not this exact one, but it was a different one um, made by the same person. And her Pomeranian eats off of her special collectible Pomeranian plate. <laughs> um, so I bought that one. And then I also got this one with three Pomeranians all having a great little, little doggy play date on their sofa um, and the same thing they have like all this stuff on the back and they actually came with their original um like paperwork they came with like a collectible blah 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 whatever it is to make sure you know that it's the real deal i guess so i'll probably put those up for like 20 bucks each they're not you know that old and they're kind of silly but whatever i think i paid three dollars for the two of them so i'll probably put them up each for like 20 22 bucks something like that and then i have a set of five plates that i actually bought for the house but then i don't know i only have five and i was like oh like i could like go on um replacements.com and find another one but then i just thought you know what not everything in my life has to be vintage which i know that's crazy for me to say but um so anyway, they're really cute though. They have strawberries and flowers. And I just love vintage fruit stuff. It's just really freaking cute. Um, and on the back, it's actually from JCPenney back in the day. So I have five of those. I figure if I get eight bucks a plate, I'll put the five up for 40 bucks. I think that's what they're on replacements.com for. Or maybe a little bit higher. So I'll probably price them a little lower than replacements.com. So I'll do $40 for those. And then I think I have, this is my last thing. Um, oh yeah, so this thrift store in my town started doing this really cool thing where they, they have like a regular Facebook page and then they have a separate Facebook page that's just for their auctions, but they're on Facebook, so it's really easy. So they post like a bunch of stuff on Tuesdays, like all these items and the starting price or starting bid or whatever. And then on Sunday night, it ends. And all these people are so inexperienced that they all start commenting on Tuesday what the price. I'm like, just wait until Sunday night. Like, duh. Anyway, so Sunday night I go through and I don't really get stuff that often, but this was really cute. So I got this for $11. Um, it's a whole set. 
So there's a, it's like a party set and it's melamine, melamine, melamine. Yeah. Anyway, here's the tray. So 60s. How freaking cute is that? Adorable. And then it comes with four of these little matching, like little snack plates. So like in comparison in size, this is this way. And then it came with, so there's four of those little plates and then this divided snack tray. So when you lay it all out, like it would kind of cover like a decent sized table. So for a party, it'd be so cute. I paid $11. I'm probably gonna put it up for close to $100, maybe like 80 bucks. I don't know, but maybe that seems high, but I couldn't find any of these and they're so 60s and I just feel like somebody will have to have them. So those are really cute. I almost kept them, but the colors just don't go with anything in my house. And I don't know how realistic it is that I would use them necessarily. So anyway, I know someone will enjoy those. So those are all my items for this week. Um, and I'll try to do a video once a week from now on. I promise I'm going to be consistent about it. So yeah.